Yorgos Lanthimos made his big break into cinema with Dark Tooth, his second feature. It's a story about a couple who hide their children from the world, teaching them new meanings to ordinary words, shaping them as they want. This won him his first Academy nomination for foreign film. I believe he is one of the most interesting directors working now. He obviously has a unique style that creates his own growing universe. does this to maintain a certain distance from characters, he wants the camera to feel as if it's someone creeping in these situations. Now this is a great example of Jorgos's fine work as a director, but the thing I love the most about his work is the way he displays reality, or rather the way he doesn't. There is this unique feature of his work, that story, he creates this parallel universe very similar to ours. But it always has these strange happenings which disassociate us from it. During the shooting of The Killing of a Sacred Deer, Yorkos would often say to Nicole Kidman, Nicole, you gotta understand the tone, it's a comedy. Bob, you promised me you'd get a haircut. And you still haven't done it. I'll get a haircut. Tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Dad. After the party. I like his hair long. He has lovely hair. What about mine? You have lovely hair too. We all have lovely hair. Now, this is where character comes in. There is an obvious difference in Yorgos' characters. They often speak in monotone, retrieving their emotion and emphasis from their words. This is what makes his film special, the way people interact with one another. There is often this sarcastic feeling to what they're saying. He creates this anti-realism that works perfectly in this universe. I just hope her pathetic screams can't be heard from my room. Because I was thinking about having a lie down and I need peace and quiet. I was playing golf and I'm quite tired. The last thing I need is some woman dying slowly and loudly. I can't hear you with all the screaming. We'll talk some other time when it's quieter. He does this precisely to develop comedy in his films. I believe he uses it to alienate the audience. His films are special and often depict strong stories. They're provocative and disturbing. Comedy is what he uses as a vehicle to more people. If all his films were as provocative as they are, but with actors portraying real people, it would be way too strong. This way, you don't really see things happening as being real. It's as you're watching a portrait of another world. His work mostly defies genres. It's allegorical, satirical, anti-realist, and metapsychological. Yorgos is not putting himself inside boxes. He just wants to tell stories, no boundaries. Even in The Killing of a Sacred Deer, a story with a normal, boring plot about a family is brought to us in its weirdest form. The beauty of sound design and visual paranoia of drone-mounted cameras help create an ambience of panic. You'll have to stop the tension, and also you can't help but feel a comic intention under the cast deadpan. This is what makes a Yorgos Lanthimos' film, and it could be no other way.